Hey guys, Frank Kurtz here with another live video titled Why GameStop Will Change the Landscape of Wall Street Forever because this is much more bigger than just GameStop and the move and we all know what's going on right now, right? You can see it every place, every paper, every everywhere of, you know, this big short squeeze and, and the Reddit guys, two and a half million, three million people now on, on that blog, you know, really pushing this and what's amazing to the bigger point here is how Wall Street is getting so pissed off at this and I'm even seeing it through CNBC, I'm seeing it through other channels. Uh, how, you know, the, the inefficiencies of the markets and, and you know, they, they're falsely pushing these stocks up. But, you know, when you look at the inefficiencies of the market, that's what they're taking advantage of, right? These kids saw that one firm was extremely short, one position, which is available for everyone to see, right? Because it was puts and they took advantage of it. And now Wall Street is pissed off, especially high frequency trading firms, which amazes me, right? Because these are guys that have taken advantage of the inefficiencies for over 10 years. Uh, they have systems that they move closer and closer to the exchanges, this way they get quicker trades. How quick? They execute a trade in 64 millionth of a second. So if you wanna put that in layman's term, think Tyree Kill and times it by 64 million. That's how fast they execute one trade. Their average holding period is a couple of seconds, maybe 30, 40 seconds, which means they don't care about what the company does. They don't care about the management team. They don't care about anything to look at fundamentals or anything, right? And that's what people are complaining about GameStop. Well, no one's looking at you know, the business and the stock's going higher. Yet, if you look at these high frequency firms and what they've been doing, they've been skimming off the top for over 10 years, making absolute fortune, billions, and doing it for me, doing, skimming from you, and you know you really don't notice it. And that's what Robinhood, Robinhood has a free, free platform. It's not free. Right? Robinhood is selling their order flow to high frequency firms like Citadel to Sigma. Yeah, that's how they make their money, by getting a piece of that trade. And you don't notice because maybe it's a penny, maybe it's two pennies, and nobody would you notice if a penny was missing out of your account? No. But let's say we think a little bit bigger here. Say if we look at the entire world, the population is what? 7.6 billion. So if you take a penny out of everyone's account, that's $76 million every day which amounts to $2.3 billion every month and then $27 billion every year. Again, it's an extreme example using that big of a number, but think about what these high frequency trading firms are doing and how now they're criticizing GameStop and all these other companies and all these Reddit guys for doing the same thing. It, it's, it's sad. I mean, it's the reason why you know, I started my business four years ago, Curse Research. It, it's you know, to bring Wall Street to Main Street because it was never a level playing field. This is the one time that I can remember where they leveled the playing field, right? Main Street leveled the play playing field against Wall Street, and it's a great thing. It really is a great thing. But you know, getting back to the point here, it, it, it's crazy that they're restricting the trading in these stocks now that are starting to crash because if you look at the next group, which isn't too far, too difficult to, to find here's a list of all these companies i mean this is something i just brought up took me two minutes you know you see the game stops being mentioned uh dillard's national beverage bed bath and beyond amc networks right so a lot of these have restricted trading right now go go no one's giving an excuse either why they have restricted trading nobody knows why they have restricted trade why what do you i mean maybe they're leverage whatever they just shut down trade especially robin hood i mean spirian penix uh yeah macy's here rocket company stitch fix virgin galactic which Amazes me. Virgin Galactic came out as a SPAC, right? It was backed by the largest hedge funds. And take a look at this. Right? Here's a company that has a $10 billion market cap and is generating $4 million in sales. $10 billion market cap. You know, Curzier Research, we generated close to $3 million last year. We don't have a market cap like that. Maybe I should just say that, you know, just announce I'm going to start, you know, making spaceships and stuff and I'll have a two, $3 billion valuation overnight. But the funny thing is this came about due to SPACs, which is going to be the next thing to break because everyone's loves SPACs right now because the retail crowd is buying this stuff way after everybody else. But when you're looking at SPACs here, even this company, you have largest hedge funds getting in this thing. They have a four month lockup period. Now it's one of the most heavily shorted positions. I wonder if it's the same guys who are in it, who are now out of it, that are shorting it at this crazy valuation. That's how Wall Street plays this game. They're launching SPACs, not because they believe in these companies and clean energy and they're gonna be in them forever. It's because they can get out of these things in four months. Now they have more liquidity and they can do whatever they want. That's the next stage. That's what's next is gonna blow up. Not necessarily blow up, but you're gonna see a lot of restrictions on SPACs and people are finally gonna get it when these things don't go incredibly higher just because you have a good idea. A lot of stuff going on, guys. This GameStop thing, is it, it, it's... Yeah, you know, it, it's a game changer for the markets. It, 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 you're going to see a lot of more stocks. A lot of they're going to target short stock, short selling. You're looking at Robinhood. Who knows if they're going to be able to IPO now because everyone's leaving the platform because they didn't focus on their customer. They didn't back them. They said, "Hey, you know what? We love these guys, free trading, everything." And now you're restricting. You're restricting trading on stocks. Uh, and who does that benefit the most? It does benefit Wall Street. It benefits these firms. Everybody sees that. 
And cat's out of the bag. It's a different world now. Get prepared because there's a revolution going on and it's just beginning. I'm Frank Curzio as always. I'll put back to you guys soon. Take care.